Hey, welcome back to another pre-recorded Euro Cup Team 2 video. We are on a brand new series featuring the 1.9 update. Um, we started a brand new career mode. This is episode 5. Um, we still don't have enough money to purchase probably one trucks, so we're still doing quick jobs. Um, we're just trying to do relatively short quick jobs. See what is available. Right, let's do London to Sheffield instead. Used plastic. So there we go. Hopefully, we'll get a decent offer after this one. Two hundred and seventy-three mile. And um, we're in. Oh, we're in the new. We're in the top XD even. that one coming never mind ready to if you're new to the channel welcome in if you're a regular welcome back um do hit the like button subscribe button and notification bell to be kept up to date when we go live and upload next in theory we generally go live monday through thursdays 6 p.m on one Start time and um, with live streams lasting from an hour and a half in it to an excess of four hours. We do also live stream some afternoons and some weekends where we possibly can. And um, with the live streams generally being OMG2, American Truck Sim 2, or Euro Truck Sim 2. Um, the Euro Truck Sim and American Truck Sim live streams we generally do do a convoy. So if you wish to, you can take part in that convoy um, and join us in the live stream. Um, if you're interested, drop a comment in the comment section below and um, we'll let you know what the next steps will be, when the next one will be and how to go about setting up. We also record videos um, like this on a regular basis, which we upload when we're not live streaming or when we're running a series like this one. Um, these are generally OMSI 2, Euro Truck Sim, American Truck Sim, F123 and ADA Sports PJ to our Golf as well. If you have any requests, do drop a comment in the in the comment section below. I will reply to everybody. Likewise, if any feedback um, that can help improve the videos or the channel, do feel free to leave as well. And on screen, you'll see the dedicated donation page. Uh, if you wish to make a donation to support the channel. Um, the PayPal link is in there, as well as the QR code. Um, any donations just go towards extra DLCs um, and additional content. So like I say, we are on the 1.49 update, which is now out of beta and fully available to the public. So it's fully released now. Um, 
we've already seen the weather features in some of the, in, in previous episodes. Um, obviously, once we get the better offer from the bank, we can then have a good look at the used truck market, um, which is a new feature, and of course, um, the new wear and tear and real, real, real wear and tear and real breakdown, real parts, failures option uh, feature, which means um, likes of your tyres will naturally wear and tear. You'll have to replace periodically, um, as well as engine parts, etc., etc. So it'll be interesting just to see how well that works. One thing I've noticed in the open beta was um, obviously it's an instant repair, but like when you have a crash and you do a service a service station. Um, I would like to see that maybe with your truck off the road while the repairs are being done. So you'd either have to do quick jobs or have a second truck. Um, that's my opinion. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Um, I think, like I say, personally, I would like to see the truck off the road um, for a, a realistic, you know, whatever is being done. So if it's an engine replacement, whatever, you know, the, a, a, a day or whatever it will take to replace an engine in reality. Um, I would like to see that that maybe is, in, in, is a feature. Even if it was a toggle option, so you can toggle it on and off, um, maybe. So if you want, if you if you didn't want to, you can turn it off, and you know, but like the fatigue options, where you can turn that option on or off. But I would I would certainly like to see it. Personally, I think that, that that's just my thought. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Yeah, I would like to say the truck off the road doing any repair period. Bring it into a bit more realistic. Yeah, that would be my that would that would be my preference on that on that feature. Yeah, see, so even if it was a toggle option, so you can turn that on or off. Um, I don't know whether or not that's something that may come in a future update. I think a lot of people I spoke to seem to be of the same frame of mind. We're in the wrong lane. Well, see, uh, hopefully that will be something that comes in future updates if enough people request it. Yeah, see, I, th I personally think it would be quite a good little, a good, a, a good experience. And a good enhancement to the game. And the new I can't remember what it's called, but the, the, the new game in Alaska. I don't know what, what don't know what it's called, is it Alaskan? Alaskan trucking. Um, 
they have things where you have to buy your own supplies for your journey, um, which again I think would be a great addition to Euro Truck or an American Truck. Um, so you have to call, you have to go to the department, uh, not the department store, to the grocery store, the supermarket, and purchase supplies, food. Um, I would love to see something like something like that in Euro Truck. Again, whether or not that's something that will come further down the line in future updates, only time will tell. I've not, I've not been a great fan of the the DAF XD, but this seems to be the DAF XD is not one of the new ones, I don't believe. Or is it? Um, I'll just have a quick gander. Yes, I've just had a quick check there. The new DAF is the XD, so this is this is indeed the new Leyland DAF truck that's in the game. Um, I wasn't sure which which one it was, but yeah, just had a quick look on the on the Steam website, and it is the DAF XD. Yeah, not normally a lover of the DAFs, but this um, I do I do like this one. Um, what I am going to do is just quickly go just drop the view back a little bit so we get a little bit more of the dashboard there. <laughs> Yeah, I do actually. Uh, it does actually feel smooth to run. The dashboard looks impressive. Quite a futuristic dashboard. In fairness, I do prefer the futuristic um, digital dashboards to the old dials. That's the, that's the one thing that lets the Volvo down just a little bit. I don't like the dials on the Volvo. Um, I would prefer the Volvo to have a new, da a, a futuristic dashboard like this. But the Volvo is a great truck to drive still low, in fairness. Yeah, I do prefer the, like I say, the, the digital dashboards like this. Um, even more so these ones that look a little bit more futuristic and space age.
Okay, what about 15 minutes in, 5 minutes to go? Um, I don't know if we'll get another job. Now, of course, even if we go down the new truck market with um, with, with the bigger bank loan, we're still only going to have limited options because of our experience level. Um, with starting a new game from scratch. Um, so a lot of the improved engines and higher spec will not be available initially. Let's see, we'll certainly have a look at the used truck market. We may pick something decent up. What we don't want to be doing is spending too much on repairs. We're nearly at the end of the uh, end of this journey. Um, I see we'll probably just do this one for this episode, and we'll see what the offers are from the bank. Yes, I do like the I do like the dust. Um, I say I'm not normally a fan of the DAF, but this, the new DAF XD does look and feel. I say it's just a shame some of the Volvos and the um, Mercedes didn't have the futuristic dashboards. Like this. So there is the rain, so automatic sensor should kick in in a short while. And turn the windscreen wipers on automatically. There we go. Just like clockwork. So the only thing to remember is you do have to set them to the first knot for the automatic sensors to work. And you also have to make sure that the sensor is enabled in the options as well. Likewise with the also, the rain sensor is not, not a new feature. Um, the automatic headlights is, but you do, again, you do have to turn the headlights on. And your high beam on. Um, and also enable the feature in the options. And then what will happen is... Um, 
once it gets to a set darkness, the beam, the, the headlights will come on automatically. Likewise with the high beam. So there we go. That is that one complete. And again, we'll just see what offers we have from the bank. Ah, uh, there we go. Right, brilliant. So, yes, let's take that bank offer. Now let's have a look at the used truck market before then. Do we take the man TGF? Yes, we will. Now let's go and just do some specs on it. Um, Yeah, the truck is um, it is set on the other side of the that was a European truck, so we'll find. Service center. Don't know if we can do it in here. We go F7. F7. And then we talk the service. It'll take us to the nearest service station. And then we can do obviously any repairs because the truck is quite beaten up, I believe. So we've got to service first. Repair all. And we'll replace all. Uh, and let's go to truck configure it. Let's see what we can configure. We do want to switch to the UK variant. 
Again, I'm ge I, 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 I guess there would be very few. Uh, very few options. So we'll do a little bit of configuration and then we'll end the episode there. So join us in episode six. Until then, good night, God bless.